Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Melon SRNA. I am back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how I made about 50K during my first strike. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So I made a video last week regarding strike nursing. So if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it in the cards above. But first things first, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell notification, that way you are notified every time I upload. So if you are familiar with the strike world or have heard about strikes in the past, the main strike that is like the well-known strike as of recently is the Minnesota strike of 2016. It was an open-ended strike and what that means is they were unable to come up with the decision and they didn't have an end date to their strike. They just left it open and they were on strike until they reached an agreement. And so they actually, this strike I was on was a six week strike and I was there all six weeks. There were some people that worked two weeks or three weeks. I think the minimum requirement was two weeks initially, but you were able to leave whenever you wanted to. However, I was there from the beginning to end, so that was a strike that I did. So this was, I believe this was like the very first. They went on strike in June. So there, so this, the opening of the strike started in September. They went on strike in June and it was only like a seven day strike. And then they went on strike in September. Labor Day was the first day of the strike. So hopefully you can see the picture. Yeah, so if you can see it was, the pay rate was 55 to 75, depending on your specialty. They gave you a 55 per diem, um, per diem per day. And then you had a 60, 60 hour guarantee, minimum guarantee. You had a 60 hour minimum guarantee. I don't know if I really mentioned that in the strike video. So they give you a guarantee when you um, go on strike. So what that means is, let's say there was a strike on Monday, it was starting on Monday. They gave you a flight for Friday. So once you hop on that plane on Friday, your hour starts there. So if you were to get to the destination already and they cancel the strike, you automatically get 60 hours guaranteed money which is nice but it only starts until you like take off so that's a really good thing so that was like the guaranteed money and another good thing about that is let's say that you know you worked and like somehow you got sick or you missed a day you still got guaranteed money so you still got 60 hours guaranteed every week um, regardless of what was happening. I got paid $75 on my strike because I was a CBICU nurse so like I said depending on specialty is what you got. The per diem was really nice. They split it up between your paycheck. So I think I got like $25, $20 $25 in cash every single day. And then they give you the $35 and you're on your paycheck. And then they pay for, they pay for the hotel. So like I mentioned, you have a roommate, so they pay for a hotel. It was a really nice hotel. I believe we stayed, we stayed at like a Marriott or a Hilton. However, because it was such a long strike, the thing that I did not like was the fact that we had to switch hotels. And that was only because like, you know, people would book in advance for that particular hotel and you know it wouldn't be fair for us to stay so we would have to switch to go to a different hotel and then maybe come back so the switching of the hotels was like exhausting especially like if you worked night shift which is what I did so you know we had to switch hotels a couple of times for that same reason they bus you there to and from and if I'm if you watched my last video like I mentioned Minnesota is not one of those states that they pay for bus time so you know you're just on the bus there are some occasions where I made us like me and a roommate or me and a friend we like took an uber to work and came back just because it was just a lot more easier and I mean plus we had the money so why not and you didn't have to like wake up super early you really could just you know take your time get ready for work go where you need to go and then just head on um head on to work so that was really nice yeah so that was like pretty much the gist of it we were required to work six days well let me say it let me go back so they made our schedule for us um, already and we already we only have like one day off so mind you it's not like you have every Friday off it's just like whatever day like works for anybody so you could be working like nine days straight have one day off and then come back to work like 10 or 12 days so that was like kind of like the um, system but you know it was really so much fun because everybody on nights you know everyone was strike nurses and you just build like a rapport you know after a while if you work nights and you like work like six or seven days in a row it's kind of just a routine like yeah you're tired but like everyone just kind of keeps everybody up and keeps everybody moving keeps everybody going which was like super super nice that was the gist of it the first paycheck that i got 
this is how much I made. And of course, I did tax exempt. Do what makes you feel comfortable. If you do take taxes out, you're really not gonna, it's really not gonna be of any benefit because they are gonna tax a lot of your money out. I did tax exempt for the whole entire strike um, and I only had to pay back 11,000 back. So this is how much I made. You can see it. It was 7,000. If you think about it, you get that every single week it will equal i think i made right at like 48 49 and then they were they were offering after that to do a contract where you would still keep the same pay rate you'll work five days a week they'll pay for housing i just didn't want to do that because i didn't feel comfortable being side by side with the you know the nurses that actually work there and some of the my co-workers that did end up taking the assignment you know just had like really bad stories and they end up like i don't think a lot of them end up finishing anyway because it's just too much to have to deal with i do have to say that if you are a lmd nurse a nicu nurse uh i think they did pick you but like in peace they were they had to increase the pay rate because they needed people and they were paying up to 95 dollars an hour and that's good money when you add it all up so they might have made anywhere from maybe like 70 thousand i'm not really sure but if you do the math i mean it was pretty up there i tell you this and i'm open with you just because there is money to be made and i would definitely work a strike again i would definitely encourage you to work a strike because think about it that 50k could that you save if you know you know do multiple assignments throughout the year um and really good with your money and budgeting and you really want to go to CRNA school, you can really just like save that money and like live off of that money instead of having to take out, you know, even more loans. Or you can like pay off a car, pay off your debt, and be completely debt free before you go into CRNA school. Now, I do say this, I, I do want to say this that the open ended strikes are not something that happens all the time, it's very rare they do happen. Um, it's not something that ha I think the, the last open-ended strike before this one was like maybe three or four years ago And I can't remember what state but they actually um, Had a strike for three months so there I wouldn't like to depend on them But if you get the opportunity be to go to an open-ended strike Definitely take full advantage of it. If you have to cancel a contract then do that um, I'm not saying that but I'm just saying like you can make money out here and there are ways that you can save money like I said, open ended strikes do not happen all the time, but I definitely do encourage you to, you know, go on a couple of strikes, see how you like it, see if that's something that you'll be interested in, um, because they are, it is a great way to make a whole lot of money. As you can see, I made really good money three years ago. So, yeah, the taxes and everything about it, it's really hard to explain. Um, It'd be easier to kind of like sit down face to face with somebody and really like go through and tell you like why because i know a lot of people are like super hesitant about the whole tax thing but you do want to get the most of your money up front and you know for me personally i don't know if i would have seen all of that money if i were to get taxes out so i definitely encourage you to do it oh and one more thing that's like not even strike related i am offering you know mock interview services and um resume review services so if you're interested then please go to the melanasrna.com and i will definitely be glad to help you with all of your you know school application needs and anything like that and also my shirts are back in stock if you were looking to get your favorite srna shirts and the mommy srna shirts are in stock as well so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate the support and i will be back with another video and i will talk to you soon